Hi, you guys. Happy Wednesday to you guys. This is Providence of Fear, Sabrina Acampo, and wanted to bring you a quick prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. As with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. So you guys, my daughter had called me today and was advising me of a circumstance that had happened that caused a car to be towed. And you guys, the old me wanted to rise up and I wanted to take matters into my own hands. But then I really had to think about that thing and think about the changes that the Lord placed in me as being a covenant keeping God and at the same time I was about to take matters into my own hands <laughs> I'm laughing you guys because the time was actually 3.33 <laughs> the Lord showed up the time was 3.33 the Lord gave me Jeremiah 33 and 3 <laughs> to let me know call unto me and I will answer thee and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not of I have plans that I can handle better. I can handle your situation better. I have plans that will stand. And sometimes it's the Lord causing those little things to happen to prevent you going out or going somewhere or going this place or going that place because he knows way before you what's going to occur so to keep that from occurring any drastic measures he steps in and takes that thing out of the way we don't sometimes understand and can't comprehend it i had to really think about that thing he says think on thoughts that are pure thoughts that are holy think on thoughts that are of a good report let your mind continue to be in me that is in christ jesus Jeremiah 33 and 3, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things, marvelous things that thou knowest not of. He wants to show you a show and tell or tell it all. He wants you to know that those things are hidden, some things that you cannot see, but he can see it. So he'll cause those things to happen to preserve you. Preventative measures. So I really had to think about that thing, but I and the Lord let me know that this was not just for me, but this was for some of you. Do not take those matters into your own hands. The Lord wants you to know that he has a better plan, a plan that will stand, a plan that will preserve you, a plan that will protect you. It's for your protection. It's for your direction when he wants you to go in another direction, when it's something that he's trying to prevent, when it's his saving grace. That is all over you in his mercy. That is all over you. He wants to make sure you come out on the other side of that thing on the winning side. Because he is shielding you. Because he loves you. You have trusted in his word that is faithful and true. So the Lord brought this word and brought me as a helper today to let somebody know everything is going to be okay place it in my hands i know sometimes we don't understand i know sometimes we don't see it from the spiritual perspective but know that everything starts first it starts first from a spiritual aspect and it manifests into the physical realm so we definitely have to allow god to be god but you have to invite him in and let him take matters into his own hands Know that you are in his righteous right hands. And seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. Stay in line and stay in tune. Because I had to catch myself. I haven't always been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. But I thank God for the woman in Christ 
that I am today and the impartation and the deposit that he has placed in me to be consistent, to be faithful. Because he said, if you're faithful over a few things, I'll make you rulers over many things. He has brought changes into your life and he has brought changes in you too. So he's wanting you with those changes to call him in for him to see you through to the other side and into those new endeavors that's right ahead of you. They're right forth. The door is open and the enemy knows it. So don't play until the devil's advocate hand. Play into the righteous right hands of the Lord who has a better solution and a better plan for your life. For my ways are not your ways, neither are my thoughts your thoughts. I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. Know that don't take those matters into your own hands. I'm talking to myself too. God has a better plan that you will definitely understand when you call him it. So you can eat the good of the land and the land of the living and take everything that belongs to you, including those blessings, so he can see you through on the other side, through to the greatness of success of his best. That's it, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word really gave you a revelation and an understanding of what the Lord was saying. The Lord is saying his saving grace and his mercy is upon you. And he's got to do whatever it takes if he has to go all the way around the world to see you through. To the upside. To get you out of obscurity. And to promise. To get you out of sticky situations. To congratulations. Celebrations. Center stage. No lie. No waiting. A show up. A show and tell. To perform drastic measures so you can walk into your unlimited treasures. Your new levels, your new dimensions. As long as you call him in for visitation. As long as you call him in to place his righteous right hands on. As long as you call him in it. Call him in. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. There's none other like him. Faith without works is dead. Call him in. He's your best friend. You will win. Knowing that you're on the winning side. He can do it better than you can. Girl. Whoo. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I can go on and on and on about this. But for the sake. <laughs> of this video. I'm going to cut it short right here. But definitely remember. He sent me here today. For somebody who's going through this thickest situation and don't understand why is this keep happening to me why i got to keep experiencing these things and keep going through this every time you look around something happens every time you turn around you can't even turn your back but god wants you to know turn to him look to him to the hills for what's coming your help and know that all of your help comes from the lord that he is your very present help in time of trouble. Call on to him. Call him in because he got a plan. You may not understand it. It's going to be strange. But that strange thing, let it happen. Because that's the Lord changing and rearranging things. Don't you feel the shift? Don't you feel that next level? Don't you feel that new dimension? Because God is in it. And that thing is right ahead of you. You can touch that silver platter. Because that thing has already been released from the spirit into the physical realm. And this is the introduction of your new level, your new chapters. Call the Lord in. Even if you don't understand. Call the Lord in. Because this is your break. Your big break. This is your breakthrough. The Lord is wanting you to know he's got something better for you. Through that crossover. Through that crossover. He has already worked it out. So you can shout it out. This month, because the Lord is saying at a quick and a faster pace. I told you I can go on and on and on about this right here. But for the sake of this video, we're going to cut it short. But remember to call the Lord in. Do not leave him out of the equation. Because he's right there waiting. He's right there waiting. 
for you to invite him in. Tell him to take full charge, take over. Take the wheel, take full charge, take full control, take full access that you're the driver, Lord. I take my hands off this thing. I ask you to place your hands on this thing. Ask the whatsoever you will, and it will be done for you. Call me in. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming because I am telling you to keep me floating and going on strong, faithful, and true of what the Lord has promised, purpose, and predestined for me to do. Be in your destiny helper. Walking it out because the Lord has already worked it out in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for the super thanks. Thank you so much for sowing into this ministry. It does not go unnoticed. Once again, I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for the OGs that continuously keep coming back. Thank you guys so much for continuously holding me down. It does not go unnoticed. Once again, I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you all through to the greatness of success of God's best knowing it. Nothing less but so much more. Even if we don't understand, know that God has everything in his command. His commands will stand. His word is faithful and true. But you got to remain faithful over those few things so he can make you rulers over many. Knowing that we may not understand, but it's the changes, it's the rearranging, it's the shift, it's the lifting, it's the new dimensions that's happening. So strange things are going to be happening. But you got to remember, if you call him in, if you call him in, you will make it to that other side. You will make it to that new dimensional level. Make the call. That call that's going to change it all. Jeremiah 3, 3, 3. That's that signature scripture. That's that signature scripture. That very scripture that's going to lift you. Believe it by faith because the Lord has already made the way. The Lord has already made the way. His grace and his mercy is upon your life. Trust him and you will see the unmeasurable, the unstoppable, the unthinkable. In a second, in a minute, in an hour, changes and rearranges, shiftings and liftings. Congratulations and celebrations. All because you said no. Forgive me, Lord. I take my hands off of this right now and I place it in your hands. I even place my hands in your hands. I join my spirit and with the Holy Spirit. I submit my will back to your will, asking you to intervene and let your will be done. Because I know that if I let you do it, and because I'm on the winning side, I've already won. The battle does not belong to you, but it belongs to the Lord. Call him in so you can go to that next dimension of unlimited measures in your full treasure, your full inheritance. That's it, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys, and we will most certainly talk on the next. I just wanted to spend some time with you guys. I want you to know to keep that scripture in mind. If you have to make that your signature scripture, speak that thing in the atmosphere until you get everything that belongs to you. And even when you get everything belongs to you, that belongs to you, speak it continuously. Because the Lord is saying he ain't through with you. There's more in store. Make that call to invite me in. I'm a friend that sticks closer than a brother, my beloved. Better than. Better than. What you could have figured out. What you could have understood. What you could have understood. <laughs> because I've already worked it out. That's said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. We will most certainly talk on the next. I'm happy about this word because the Lord has delivered me. So he's using me to deliver, to cause you to be delivered. So I'm happy about this word. Take care. We will most certainly talk on the next. God richly, God richly bless each and every one of you guys. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye.